Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and in this video I'm going to give you three reasons why I think it's a good idea to rent equipment like I do before you buy. So reason number one is with tractors and equipment and things like that, when you're shopping, like, okay, 10 years ago when I was thinking about buying a tractor, I really didn't know what I wanted to buy. I didn't know what size tractor I needed. I just kind of said, hey, I need a tractor and went to shopping. Well, luckily, my best friend is a diesel mechanic and he had bought a John Deere tractor brand new and said, hey, I'm gonna sell my tractor and I just offered him the money and bought it. And it was a great deal. I know a lot about it. I know the history of that tractor. But my point is, is I didn't know what I was looking for. I didn't know if I needed a 30 horsepower tractor, 40, 60, if I needed a cab or not. I just got lucky and went out and bought the really the first tractor I came upon. Well, if you're gonna go rent some tractors or if you have the ability to go rent some tractors, you can go rent something like this LA 47, um, kind of a mid-size compact utility tractor. This is obviously the, the backhoe package it's got the backhoe attachment on there and the grapple on the front. But this is a, a, a kind of a good mid-range size tractor. And you could go rent a you know 24 to 32 horsepower tractor. And then you could go rent a bigger one. So it kind of gives you the chance to test drive, just like if you were buying for a car. So when you're shopping for a car, nobody just goes out and buys the first car they come across. They go test drive cars, two-door cars, four-door cars, pickup trucks, SUVs. That way they have an idea of what they want same with tractors this gives you the ability to go use a tractor for a couple days it's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars a few hundred dollars maybe but that may save you in the long run um, from buying the wrong tractor from buying the wrong size tractor so reason number one is you get to test drive it reason number two that i think you should go rent tractors or rent equipment before you buy or even if if you are going to buy <laughs> is because um, we all have different properties we all live on a different size properties different terrain and when you have something that you can go rent it's a much smaller investment so like me with this grapple um, I've never owned a grapple on the front of a tractor after using this I promise you I want one big time I really want a grapple on my tractor but you may live on eight or ten acres and you go out and trim all of your trees up, which we're going to go move some limbs with this grapple in a few minutes with that, with this tractor and the grapple. But you may go trim all your trees and only need a grapple bucket for one or two days. Well, if you own a tractor, that gives you the ability to go rent the implements that you need. Like say a post hole digger, an auger to go on the back of your tractor. If you already own a tractor, you can go rent certain implements and only use them for a couple days go rent that auger to build your fence to you know dr drill your holes and and uh, concrete your pipe in the ground use it for a couple days take it back it may cost you a hundred bucks Ugh, mosquitoes are still terrible in oklahoma they're like the state bird of oklahoma right now there's so many different options implements are endless and having a place like gp rents or great plains Kubota or whatever your rental place is close to you you can go rent implements to put on your equipment and that to me is amazing because implements are expensive we all know how much it costs to pay for those things depending on what you want you're going to spend anywhere from several hundred to several thousand dollars per implement if you're only going to use it a couple days a year go rent that thing so reason number two was you can just rent what you need when you need it you don't have all those different implements laying around all year sitting there rusting so reason number three why i think you should consider renting equipment is maintenance I've got a brush hog, a seven foot brush hog that goes on the back of my John Deere tractor. And it's a very expensive brush hog. It was bought brand new by the same friend that I bought the tractor from. Not this one, my John Deere tractor. Used, he used it for several years. I used it for several years. Last year at the end of the season, I broke the main shaft that comes out of the gearbox. It goes down to your blades. That main shaft broke. I didn't think that much of it, not that big a deal. Called the buddy I bought it from because he's my mechanic. He's my diesel mechanic. And he said, oh yeah, we can fix that, but it's going to be seven to $900. So 
maintenance. Ugh. If there's things like that, you know, if you can go rent a brush hog, maybe your property only needs brush hogged once a year. Go rent it and you won't have to worry about the maintenance. Something like a backhoe. I have, it'd be really cool for me to own a backhoe. I would love to own a backhoe. But if I was gonna go out and buy one, I, I couldn't, I was gonna go buy something new. I would buy a 10, 15, 20 year old piece of equipment that more than likely is gonna break down on me every time I use it. It's gonna need hydraulic lines fixed. It's gonna need cylinders replaced. So if I just go rent something, or if you just go rent something like this, get those chores done, take it back, and you don't have to worry about the maintenance. Oh, maintenance seems like it takes so much time and costs so much on equipment. So there you have it. There's the top three reasons why I think it's a smart idea for people like me and you to go rent equipment to get work done on your property. So speaking of work, we need to get some work done around here while we still have this amazing machine here. I'm telling you what, that grapple on the front of that tractor right there just is the cat's meow. I, I love it. I'm going to have to have one. No doubt. Gonna have to have a grapple. So let's go put that grapple to work and uh, get some get some brush cleared around here. Get some stuff hauled away and cleaned up.
Well, unfortunately, it's fixing to get dark on me, so it's time to park this thing for the day. It's one thing about fall. You love the weather. The cool temperatures are awesome, but it is 610, and the sun's already starting to set. It's cloudy, and it's going to rain tonight and tomorrow, but it gets dark so early. But you guys saw all those deer. The deer are out everywhere. So before I end this video, I want to show you guys something. So you guys know I'm a big deer hunter. I love deer hunting. I love eating deer. I love everything about deer season. But I also love taking care of my deer in my yard. So, got a bucket of corn. This time of year, the deer just can't resist it. The best thing about this new patio right here is we can put out a little corn right here in the backyard. I'm not kidding. Right here in the backyard. Shake the feed bucket and the deer fix the come running. They're like pets. You just go, come on deer, here deer, here deer. You ever seen that Facebook page called Catching Deers? Here's how I go catching deers. That's all there is to it. We just throw out a little corn, call their name, and check it out. Is, there no, is one of them Reba? There's one little horned buck. Can I shoot him? Can I shoot that buck? I'm about to go pick that butt's goat. That butt's goat. The goat's butt. Hey. What? You like watching the deer in the yard? Bear! Well, it worked out for just a second until, for whatever reason, Bear decided to chase him off. I thought he was locked up in the goat pen. Guess he got out. <laughs> so, the funny thing is, when they're close to the house like this, mm -hmm. I thought Bear was chasing the deer all the time until I watched and the deer turned around and started chasing bear. He gets out here in the yard and literally plays with the deer. But when bear's not out and Gemma's not out, we can sit out here on the patio and watch the deer. Huh, Houston? Yeah, that has to be Reba right there. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, if you're not into renting rental equipment, I understand. But if you've never tried it, if you've never gone out and rented some of this equipment, go check it out. If you're in Oklahoma, Central Oklahoma, Southern Oklahoma, look up GP Rents, Great Plains Kubota. They're awesome people. They're really great people to do business with. And uh, like I said, I called them today and said I needed a piece of equipment. And within an hour, hour and a half, it was sitting in my driveway. So. I really think it's an awesome deal. I love their business. I love supporting them. And uh, it helps me get a lot of work done around here. So that's all I've got for today. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.